So here's a big nodule and inflammation underneath. Let's look at the top first. We got keratin cysts and then we've got tadpoles. So we're back in that same differential. DTE, desmoplastic trichoap, microcystic adnexal carcinoma, basal cell, or syringoma. Well, probably too big to be syringoma. And also the keratin cysts don't go with that. Doesn't really look like basal cell anywhere else here, so probably not that. And again, like I said, that one I feel is like kind of the, they just added him to the list because they felt bad. Like it doesn't really look as much like the other tumors usually. And here, the cords, you can't tell if they have ducts or not, right? I don't know, is there a duct in there? Maybe. So as you go down, those are ducts, but guess what? That's an eccrine coil, it's entrapped. Usually when you go way down deep, the, the tubules will start to open up and show some duct spaces, but it can, you have to hunt around sometimes for a while and it can be quite challenging to see. And this is why you, it's really hard to diagnose these on superficial biopsy. See, those are like the little duct spaces here probably. Very hard, sometimes the immunostates can help highlight it, but here you're invading way down into the fat, no way it doesn't plastic trichoap. This is microcystic adnexal carcinoma. This one's almost like too good to be true. Like it's almost never this robust. It's usually much more subtle and much more trickly like that desmoplastic trichoap, only it'll be that trickly all the way down to like the nasal septum. It'll be all the way down in muscle and around nerves and to cartilage, it's out of control, but usually not this cellular. Um, so don't expect them to all look like this. So that's microcystic adnexal carcinoma, locally aggressive, usually occur on the face, middle-aged women oftentimes, and they don't usually have atypia. If it looks infiltrative like that and marked will be atypical cells, it's almost certainly not a microcystic adnexal. It's probably an infiltrative squame, okay, or maybe a basal, but a squame would be my best bet. 